is here. The champ is here. The champ is here. All right, I got another one here. Uh, from my friend, uh, from down there, from uh, the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. And Ricky Smiley goes TF, so I guess it means TF, he goes the F off, defending Kamala Harris. Let's have a listen to this, shall we? But first, before we indulge on this church rant, let me first say we just hit 4,000 subscribers. I appreciate the support. And uh, that's why I'm, I want to remind you to make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the like button. It's very important. Hit that like button for me, okay? And share this interesting rant with a friend, okay? But without further ado, let's let's let, let's hear this out, shall we? Uh, either one of those governors would have been a great choice uh, for Kamala Harris. Uh, I'm just sick of the black people on the internet talking about I'm not with her. Okay, so if you're not with her, sick that means you Trump. Y'all need to block every last one of their asses on Facebook <laughs> and on Instagram and social media and stop. Like that's just that's just garbage. God, yeah. It's just yeah. garbage. Can Everybody we be united on anything? And, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't be like can't agree on a damn uh, bucket of chicken. One person want a hot. Look at this picture. This is a funny picture, ain't it? No, I always complain. Black folks get on my damn nerves, man. What you? Why everybody making all, all these celebrities making all these videos going off on Kamala Harris and stuff, and then the black men, Kamala Harris, black men, you you and, and treated you bad in court. I got treated bad in court too, but I'm with her because a, a vote for her. Uh, uh, if you sit at home and you don't support her, you 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 are definitely supporting. Donald Trump, you can vote for who you want to, but don't be trying to encourage other people and sit up there and put bad stuff. Where's that same energy for Donald Trump? Yeah. You well, know you know, what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just like, and, don't and, and vote for him. Not, it is what it is. They're not even doing, y'all not even out here doing real research. Then look at her record. If you do the research or whatever, stop believing everything you read and do real research, you can see what her record is. You can see what she have done. I think you can Google what have Kamala Harris done for the black community. Are things that black that, that black people benefit from a lot. We need a to stand lot. with her. Yes. We need to stand with her. If she does so much for the black community, say what she's done, Ricky. Say what she's done. All he said was a lot. Google it. A lot. I know this much. When she was prosecuted in California, she took a lot of black women and put a lot of black women in jail. Under tr for truancy, she put a bunch of truancy charges on black women, and put them for jail. You don't know what truancy means? That means uh, because the kid, your kid's not showing up for school. If I'm wrong about that, correct me in the comment. Feel free, but I believe that means when your kid don't show up for school a certain number of days, that's truancy. And she charged the parents for that, which that's fine if you want to charge a parent for that, get them a fine or something like that, but she put them in jail, black women she put them in jail a, a black woman wouldn't do another single parent, whether she a single parent or not they wouldn't do another black woman like that so that goes to show you the disdain that she has and how she feel about black people Another, if she really was a black woman black woman wouldn't do another black woman like that but let's continue She's great. Absolutely. She would make a great president. Okay. And what a blessing to be okay. living in a time where a black woman can become president of the United States of America. In our time, we get a black man and a black woman become president. That's unheard of. Come on, man. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Be on Stop the right it, side of here. Meaningless civilism. A quote-unquote black woman and quote-unquote black man being president. Meaningless civilism. Meaning it does nothing for the black community. Continue. History. Be yeah. on Stop the it. right side of history. The right side so, of history. It's just the Amber Rose and, and everybody got all these videos and stuff and talking about Kamala Harris talking out of both sides of her. How would you say something so disrespectful? Even if you felt that way, I wouldn't dare make a video or say nothing like that to the vice president 
of the United States of America that's trying to stand up and that's going to uh, possibly pick two United States Supreme Court justices uh, or whatever to try to keep the laws in place that Thurgood Marshall and all of the people that have paved the way and try to redo and get back into some of this settled law, uh, women's rights to choose your voting rights and Brown versus the Board of Education. Do your homework, black Wait, hold people. Up. Let, let, me, let me just tell you something right here that could be very historic. And Kay pointed this out to me. If Kamala Harris is elected, she would be sworn in. She could be sworn on in MLK by, Day by the first black Supreme and Court and possibly woman by Katanji Brown Jackson. Yeah. Does Stop that it. not give you chills? Come on, Stop it. no, it don't does give not, me chills. Does that not send Maria? I, just I, make I, your I, whole body I, vibrate. Maria, oh I can gosh. go deep in the net. You got a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Tell him, Ricky. Reading in a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated into the damn White House. What's Come wrong on, with y'all? Oh, Come on, on man. MLK Holiday. But y'all Baby, mad because she ain't talking about who, who was a member? Who was a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity? You damn right we mad because she ain't talking about reparations. You fool. This is symbolism, fool. This is symbolism. This ain't doing nothing for the black community. Who gives a rip? Whether it's a, a AKA a Delta Sigma Theta, who gives a damn? They don't. They don't do nothing for the black community. They don't do nothing for the man. It's really a disgrace to Martin Luther Other King, if you want to know the truth. Cause Martin Luther Other King did not die for us to just be voting for nothing. Right, the, his, one of his last speeches before he died, he talked about reparations and getting that. He coming to get the. I quote him. He, we coming to Washington to get that check. That's what last on the thing, last thing Martin Luther other king said. They don't want to repeat that. Who gives a damn about uh, uh, first black this and first black that? We passed that. Incorporated. Come on. Now. Come on now. Game. Come on, guy. Oh my God, Game that changed. just gave me chills. Mm. That gave Rocky. me chills. Game changer, Rocky. dog. Game. Man, Talk better, about y'all better, game. Y'all better come get me off this radio we, today. Hey, we, hey, you keep going. You want <laughs> to keep going, dog? You want to keep going? Oh, they ain't going to be mad at you today, Rick. Hey, man. I don't care. Well, stop the music. Stop the music. Stop the Go, dog. Go. 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 I, I don't care about who get mad. I know I'm right. Exactly. I know I'm right. You know why I mess up it, man? I'm going to have to get a sound, a tap dancing sound for, for, my, for my thing. That's why I mess up it. Y'all need to stop. Do y'all realize Mega Evers died for voting rights? All these people that have risked their lives from slavery up until the civil rights movement, just where we can have an opportunity to, to, to do what we do, to do what we can do. We ain't never seen, we ain't seen nothing like this since Barack Obama was running for president in 2008. We need to stop. The great John it, Lewis. Right. John Lewis and, 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 and uh, 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 Ralph Ab Abernathy. Abernathy. Uh, you know, all of these people. Okay, you want to talk about Mega Evers? Let me tell you something. Mega Evers did not die for us to vote for nothing. Okay? I'm from, I'm, I'm from Mississippi. Okay? I, stayed t I lived 10 years in Jackson, Mississippi. That's where Mega Evers lived and died. Okay, let me tell you something. Mega Evers did not die for us to vote for nothing. That is not what he died for. Okay, Mega Evers died for us to, for our vote to mean something. When we go in there and push that vote, he died so that we have a vote, it meant something. We got something for it. That's what Mega Evers died for. He didn't die. For us to be voting for a damn, for the vote for somebody just so we can see an AKA and a Delta Sigma Theta um, uh, swear somebody in for presidency? You fools! If you voting for that, then they, then truly, Mega Evers, Martin Luther the King, Malcolm X, all those great black people, and the many, many before them, they died for nothing. If that's what we're voting for to be talking about, so uh, it gives me chills to see again, uh, AKA and a Delta did to that, uh, swearing somebody in for symbolism. They didn't die for us for symbolism. They died for our vote to mean something. They died for us when we vote, we get a uh, some meaning, meaningful, tangible things in return for our community. That's what they died for.
people that have paved the way for us. We they are didn't... the new civil rights leaders. We, we, we got to get behind people like Ben Crump and, and, and Kamala Harris and all these people uh, out here that's no doing way. like Roland Definitely. Martin and, and all of these people that's out here. And Joy Reid, if you, if you want to be educated, if, if, if you really want to know the truth, all you got to do is turn to MSNBC and watch Joy Reid. And, and she going she gonna to give you a whole history lesson every night on MSNBC. And, and, and then after that, Rachel Maddow. All you got to do is just watch. And it's not opinion, it's facts. Don't do this right here. Yeah, and don't you know, be on the, the internet the, doing Kamala Harris like that. Yeah, I don't care yeah. what issue you got with black. You dance, I dance, I dance for a battle. You dance, I dance, I dance, I dance for a battle. Black women. Your mama's a black woman. How about mm -hmm. that? Let's start there. I don't yeah. care what, 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 uh, and I'm talking to the men right here. Your mother is a black woman. Don't forget that. Don't forget that your sister is a black woman. And, and, and as a black man, I stand proudly with Kamala Harris hey man, this morning with tears in my eyes. It means like so that. much to me. Do you know the lady the picked up the phone and called you me when my son died? How about that? How about how about how personal it, uh, uh, her and Joe Biden has been? How about Joe Biden wrote me a letter naming my grandkids and naming my son name in a personal handwritten letter? How kind, how thoughtful, how genuine. How, 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 uh, uh, so uh, they're just genuine and sincere, and I love people like that. And if and anybody, uh, the, the person that shot, that got killed at the Trump rally, who do you think called that man uh, to offer his condolences? Joe Biden did. Joe Biden did. Trump didn't call him. And he took a bullet out of Trump rally. These are kind, loving people. If you're looking at the privacy, you know what's going on. Stop that people. Stop. Stop attacking Kamala Harris. Stop it with the self-hatred. Even if you don't agree with everything she do, what do you think she can do as the vice president? She don't even is not in control of the Congress and the Senate. If you know how government works. Come on. Come on, we got an opportunity here uh, uh, of a lifetime. We'll be dead and gone, but we can say our generation, because we're not going to live ever, that we, we voted a black man and a black woman to become president of the United States. That's history. This is what Dr. King died for. No, it this ain't. This is what Mega Evers died for. You're a damn liar. This is what Rosa Parks went to jail for. No, she All did. All the sacrifices that black people had to make. Uh, uh, your grandmother's cleaning up white people's house and cleaning and scrubbing floors and doing all of this stuff. All these, uh, he crying. Made all these sacrifices for us. Come on, Rick. Well, we can have this opportunity. And then you get a woman. Now you want to question her race and question her ability and all this stuff. Why? Why are we doing this? Why are we like this? What is wrong? And I'm sitting here. I should be in, in uh, a vote for Trump uh, with the tax bracket that I'm in. But if I have to pay more taxes in order to do what's right, just where somebody else can have food in their mouth and do the right thing or whatever, I want to be on the right side of history. And I mean this. I'm not. I, I, I just been holding my peace. I ain't been saying nothing. But man, it, that some of these videos are disturbing, and these memes are disturbing. What we as a people doing to each other? We need to stop. We need Energizer to stop. Energizer three to and one I'm child. Done. We're going to have her on the show. We're going to support her on this show. We're going to support her. And I cannot wait if God let me live to see a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated read in, swear in, a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha. Man, as, as, as being uh, uh, in the Greek family myself. Man, listen. Come on, y'all. Come on. You pretty Come on, the Harris. <laughs> We with you, dog, no, and we with be. her. <laughs> we needed that. Come on, dog. We needed yeah, that. That, 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 needed that, put, that. that put tears in my eyes. And I'm not just saying that, man. I'm hey, man, we going into this political season. I'm definitely going to have to get my banjo sound effect going. I got to get it going. That banjo, my banjo sound effect. I've been out here on the trail, civil rights movement since 79 when Benita Carter got killed. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, uh, shot in the back by a white police officer. I've been a member, of the, a lifetime member of the NAA. I marched in Selma. CP and the SELCI, I'm on regular text messages and calls with civil rights leaders all over the country. I've been involved. I do comedy and crack jokes on stage, but you don't know what I do behind the scenes. I, I was behind the scenes when Barack Obama ran. I was behind the scenes 
in the Bill Clinton campaign, in the Al Gore campaign, in the Joe Biden campaign, my whole life, even when I wasn't even old enough to vote. When I wasn't old enough to vote, I was still behind the scenes working just where I can leave something to, to my kids and the generation after that doing my part, my part, using my platform that I built to try to do what's right and may not make this thing about me, but make this thing about uh, the rights of the next generation. Come on, y'all. More re- <laughs> I got to get my banjo sound effect going. I got to get it ready. Because, my God. Honestly. Honestly. Ricky Smiley. You know, I know it's people tearing up Ricky Smiley. Let me tell you something. It's people, I know, man, it's people in the comments tearing him up for this banjo celebration tap dancing that's going on. But I ain't really mad at him. Like, I ain't really irritated with him like a lot of people. Because, I mean, I understand this, how this stuff works. I understand it. And, you know, I follow Ricky, man, since the 90s. I first saw Ricky, I think, was on Comic View, BET Comic View, hosting. I don't even think he was host. I just saw him on there. And he became famous with the Lil Dara. I can still see him now with the Lil Dara, my name, Lil Dara. And I just watched his career through the years. And I followed, followed you know, I watched him and followed him a, uh, off and on. And I've, uh, I just never really, I never really, I know better. Like, cause I listen, when I'm at work and I got nothing else to listen to, I listen to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show for some of his jokes, like the church announcement. He still killed the church announcement with Mitt Bernie Jenkins. It's still funny. And it brings a smile to my face, you know, just hearing him with some of his jokes, you know, the ones that are still funny, <laughs> you know, but the show is like an hour. I probably fast forward through like at least 30. I only this is probably about 20 minutes of the show because I fast forward through all that political stuff. And I just know better than to listen to him when it comes to politics. Like, you have to understand. Like, I don't really even fault him really because I get what he's doing because he's a boule guy. And he needs to keep his job. He got to get up there and tap dance and say what he has to say for... Um... Miss Kathy Hughes, I mean, that, that run the TV one and all that. He has to do what he has to do. And he has to get up there and, and, and you know, he has to stump hard for the Democrats. That's his part of his job description, you know. So I get it. I understand. He just want to keep his job and do what he has to do. So I don't really even take, listen, take it personal or listen to what, you know, he has to say. Because, you know, he's, he's saying he's really placating to his audience why they still alive you know his audience is uh like my parents and stuff like you know my parents and them you know they they gonna run to the polls and do what he talking that that mess he talking about but you know when it comes i'm really proud of the young people though when it comes to the young foundation black americans i mean where we're going like the young people, they understand it. They not gonna just vote for just symbolism because somebody quote unquote supposed to be black. We not they're, they're, yeah, they're smarter than that. But so I I listen to stuff like this and I laugh. I don't really take it personal because it's funny to me to hear somebody uh, just going off like that. It's funny, man. It's real funny. It's it's hilarious, honestly. So I don't take it personal, but I know the people in the, all the people in the comments don't go too hard on Ricky because I'm gonna tell you, man. Like Ricky Smiley, as far as a father, I stand next to him. He's a damn good father, damn good father. He's you know like most Boule people, they do good things, and they when it comes to our community and stumping for the Democrats, they hurt our community and do bad things in that in that regard. But Ricky Smiley's a hell of a damn good father. I stand next to him. I stand next to him on that man. He's a good man, and I think he's a good man overall. He's a damn. He's he's a good man overall. But 
he just trying to keep his job. That's all, man. It ain't nothing perfect. You know, he just trying to do what he got to say, what he got to say, and do what he got to do, just like all them boule folks to keep their little job, like Roland Martin and all them people and stuff. But I'm going to tell you, Ricky, that crowd you playing toward, that's a dying crowd, bro. What you going to do in the next five to ten years? I mean, the crowd you, 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 you playing to, I mean, that's – that crowd is, I mean, it's dying out, bro. Like, R.I.P. to she, Sheila Jackson Lee, you know. And, you know, they say her daughter's going to run for her position. But her daughter don't have a plan. If her daughter's going to just, just just continue what her mother was doing, she's not going to get anywhere, you know. The the young, the new young generation, they just not with that man. And, you know, I like to consider myself a part of that same uh the, that same uh, young, fresh way of thinking, you know, we want something tangible for our vote. We're not just going to vote just because cause, uh, somebody at AKA and they're Delta. That's that's stupid. That's flat out stupid. But don't go too hard on Ricky, man. Don't go too hard on Ricky. He's just trying to keep his job. And I, I see y'all tearing him up in the comments. Don't go too hard on him, man. He's just trying to keep his job, man. You know, just tune him out like I do. When, when he's doing the church announcements and when he got a good joke going... I'm, I'm there to laugh, but if it's funny, you know, that's if it's funny. I'm there to laugh and, you know, and support him on his jokes. But, you know, when he talking politics, you just ignore him when he talking politics. He ain't talking about nothing, you know. But I digress on that. 5,000 subscribers. 